you all look at my makeup just so washed up trying to stress me out you know it's one of those days where you're just trying to be cute but your makeup doesn't want to act right so it wants to stress you out but the good news is i'm not gonna be stressed out because that's what we're talking about today oh boy hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is love it cheesy and this is mental health monday if you're new to my channel take a few minutes and smash on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you can get notified every time i upload new videos today we're talking about stress how to live a stress-free life we're humans and we're always stressed about one thing or the other but guess what this year the goal is you're not gonna be stressed I'm not going to be stressed. We all are not going to be stressed, right? The reason I want to talk about this is because last year literally was one of the most overwhelming, one of the most stressful year of my whole adult life. I mean, I was working full-time job. I was going to school full-time and taking literally full course, right? I was taking full credit in grad school, which is something that I usually don't do. And... On top of that, you know, being a content creator and planning a wedding all by myself, it was really overwhelming. There's some days that I just felt like I really wanted to just like scream or like cry or just crawl under the bed and not do anything. But I know that wasn't an option, you know. So I had to figure a way to help reduce my stress level and to help me keep a balance so that I don't lose it because I honestly thought that I was losing it. So this is already what? It's three weeks into this year and... I'm not going to say things are going perfect. There's some things that haven't been going my way, but the old me, I will be stressing. But guess what, sis? I'm just chill. Like, I feel like I've been handling it like a boss. I haven't been stressing like I would, like the old me would be, like stressed up, easily walked up over little things. So I want to share this 12 tips with you guys, what's been helping me keep my balance and living stress-free life and I'm just saying this because I don't know whatever stress it is that you are going in and you're, you're going through in your life if you're stressed about school personal life job or you're just stressed about family or friends or just stressed about anything I don't know what it is that you're going through but I wanted to let y'all know that you're not alone in whatever you're going through at this moment and there are ways you can things you can do to help you minimize your stress level number one tip stop over analyzing situation technically I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys my problem is that I over analyze everything and if you're like me that you over analyze every situation because I'm a thinker so I'm always thinking what could have been what would have what if what not all of those what 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 over analyzing things and I end up stressing myself even before something happens so when you learn to stop over analyzing situation before that even happens, say for example, you mess up at work and your boss hasn't even said anything and we already beating yourself up, you're stressing and you're panicking like, oh my gosh, what if, what if I get fired? What if this? What if that? And nothing has happened yet. You are already stressing yourself even before anything happened. So learn to try learn adapt whatever you gotta do learn not to over analyze situation number two stop taking on other people's problem yes i know you love your loved ones i know you love your friends your family you care about people i'm like that i always tend to carry other people's problem but i have learned to set a healthy boundaries try not to take on other people's problem learn to be there for your loved one to your best ability in terms like to not overdo it don't take on their their problem do as much as you can and let them handle the rest that way your stress level will go from literally 100 to a 50. trust me guys it works all the time when you stop taking on other people's problem you have less problem to worry about number three learn to live in the present and stop living in the past so many people focus so much on the past what they've done wrong what they could have done what they didn't do you know if you're one of those people say for example you're like oh if i had taken this job last year my life would have been different and this this that you're living in the past instead of focusing in the present to make your future better so learn to live in the present enjoy the moment work and strategize on how to make the future better and stop dwelling 
in the past. Stop dwelling in the, what I could have done, what I should have done, what I didn't do, or what I did wrong, what I couldn't have done, and focus on, okay, this is now, here, what are we doing? How do we make things better? How do we make tomorrow better? Kind of situation. Number four, condition yourself to think positive. Positive thought, positive feelings. One of my favorite theory is CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy. And the reason why I love CBT is because it deals with our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, how those three things connect. So your thinking usually affects your feelings, which in turn would affect your actions. So if you are always thinking negative, right, your negative thought now would what? Generate negative feelings, which most of the time would cause you to do what? Negative actions, right? But if you condition yourself and learn and train yourself to think positive, your positive thoughts would now affect your feelings, which in turn would be what? Make positive feelings, which in turn would produce positive actions. So positivity is honestly, I would say like that's my number, one of my top three with in life, literally, I, I try to think positive, and I also think being able to think positive also comes from your faith, like how much faith you have in how things are going to turn out. But if you're someone that's always thinking the worst, your stress level is always going to be high. Number five, focus on what you have and not what you don't have. The problems with we humans is we are focused on the problem, right? Like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. Once I do this, I'm going to start living. But say, for example, you're like, oh, I need a job right now. If I get, if I get a job, my life is going to be way better. I'm going to be less stressed. Guess what? You get a job. And immediately, you don't even take the time to celebrate that little victory. You don't even take the time to appreciate it. You're on, on to the next stress. Like, okay, now I got a job. Now I got to buy a car. Instead of taking a deep breath, taking a step back and enjoying what you've accomplished and appreciating what you have instead of thinking of what you don't have. When you think about all the things you have, counting all your blessings, you would be more fulfilled and less stressed. But when you're thinking about all the things you don't have, you're stressed, you're worried, you're like, oh, where can I get this? Where can I, what do I have to do? Like, it's just going to be too much. So learn to think about the things that you have, not the things that you don't have. I know it's easier said than done, but again, everything comes down to what? Our thoughts, right? We can always train ourselves, our thinking, our minds to think positive. Number six, stop surrounding yourself with people that don't make you happy. No, my guy. For real, guys, stop surrounding yourself with people that don't make you happy. There are some people that you, you love daily. They could be friends, they could be family and whatnot, but Sometimes you have to learn to separate yourself. You need to learn to separate yourself from people like that. Love them from afar. Because when you surround yourself with people that don't make you happy, people that do nothing but bring pressure and stress to your life, your stress level will be high, right? I always say, if someone doesn't contribute to me, to my life mentally, um, if you're not contributing financially, physically, um, emotionally, there's really no reason for me to keep you around, right? So stop surrounding yourself with negative people, people that don't make you happy, people that only add nothing but stress to your life. Number seven, there's honestly, there's not much to say about this other than just take it one day at a time. One day at a time, focus on one day at a time. Even the Bible said, don't think about tomorrow, for tomorrow think for itself. So focus on today, what are you going to do today, what you need to do today to be productive, to be, to, to be productive, so think about today one day at a time number eight plan ahead and simplify your schedule I am the queen of planning I I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I have a little bit of an OCD where I kind of like things to go according to plan so I always plan my day I never go to bed without planning my next day I plan my day from the minute I wake up to the minute I, I go to bed and I have journals. I always tell people get yourself journals, get yourself planners. I have so many planners. I have one that I use to track my daily activity, one that I use to keep tab with my content creating, with school work, with work work. Like I have different planners, journals, whatever you want to call it. Honestly you don't need so many. 
I have this much just because I'm so much of a planner and I plan everything and I really cannot function like without writing things down because I like to go in order and I like if not I would forget things so all you truly need is at least one planner if you have one planner you write the, your deals the most important prioritize what you need to do starting from the most important to the least important right and that way you're able to knock things out and you, you would be more productive but as you plan your day try to be flexible do not bombard your schedule for the day try to be realistic put on here what you know you can accomplish and start from the most important to the least important and whatever you're not able to accomplish for that day just move it to the next day it helps you because when you have so much stuff to do and you don't know what to do first it adds stress to your life when you're like when you can't remember what you've done and what you haven't done and what you need to do adds stress and pressure but when you have everything nicely written down and you just go from the top to the bottom it makes things go smoother and you know you're not forgetting anything it would reduce your stress honestly some days on a day that i don't plan my day i would be so overwhelmed but as soon as i take a minute sit down and just write what you know plan the things that needs to be done my stress level literally goes down from 100 to like a 40 or 20 sometimes so i strongly recommend that you get yourself a planner and if you're not someone that if you're not into planners you know use your phone modern day technology use your phone use your ipad use a lot about your phone you go anywhere with your phone just write down everything you need to do put a reminder on your phone it would help you plan your day and be flexible number nine be flexible just like i said be flexible and keep it moving okay whatever you did not do you couldn't do today move it to the next day be flexible work you know and i say this and i'm proud of myself that i'm saying it because i used to not be flexible i used to be like no if i don't get it done today it can't be done like, it has to be done today i'm so like it got to be done but when i learned to be more flexible and to just simplify things and just keep it moving like okay i couldn't get it done no big deal we're gonna move it to tomorrow we're gonna try this again my stress level has really been down since i started this new habit number 10 delicate to others when you have so much stuff that you need to do it's okay to ask for help delicate if you have a husband or if you have children or friends family members they can help delicate ask people for help like hey can you help me do this i know for me because i'm such a perfectionist i don't like to delicate because i feel like people wouldn't do it to my satisfaction but i've learned that all i need to do is show them how i want it to be done and give them clear direction on how i want things to do like this is how i want it done that way the person would do it to your satisfaction that is if you are a perfectionist like me but ask for help delicate things whatever it is that you gotta do delicate it makes things easy and it reduces the workload that you have on your plate hence reducing your stress level number 11 develop a healthy habit i don't know what it is for you if it's yoga if it's walking up going to take a walk at the park whatever it is for me it's workout I work out every day I don't necessarily go to the gym every day I, I, I might be at the gym three four times a week but on the days that I can I would at least do like 10 to 15 minutes workout in my bedroom so develop a healthy habit something that would help you rejuvenate something that would help re-energize you and charge your battery after a long exhausting day or even in between the day whatever works for you so is it workout is it yoga is it breathing exercises listening to music or taking a walk whatever but develop one healthy habit last but not the least my most favorite breathe relax and leave a little take a deep breath every once in a while we're all human so we're always going to be stressed out there's things that's always going to stress us stress us out but being able to catch yourself remind yourself relax take a deep breath and keep moving is the key so i always give myself pep talk like today i had something going wrong but i had to catch myself i'm like okay breathe levette took a deep breath and i remember i reminded myself that okay it's not big deal it works out great it doesn't work out no biggie right now how do we fix this so learn give yourself a pep talk whatever it is that work for you but just learn to <sighs> breathe relax and leave a little because life is so short
to stress. Like I said again, we're all humans and we're always going to be stressed out. These tips are not going to completely eliminate your stress level. It's not like oh, you're never going to get stressed again if you do all of this stuff. No, but it would greatly help take your stress level lower than 100 at least. So I hope these tips works for you. If you know someone that would benefit from this video, go ahead and share. We're all going through something in life. We're all stressing through something and we need a way to keep a balance. So take from this whatever works for you and apply it to your life and whatever doesn't work, leave it. Add what works and just be flexible. Mix things around. Try different things that would help you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching. Remember, if you haven't, smash the subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you can get notified for weekly videos. Once again, this is Mental Health Monday with Love It Cheesy. Thank you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.